Alrighty, I grabbed all the supplies I needed. I grabbed my eight and why? Okay, eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, which we are going to cut in half very quickly. Right, 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 right. Five and a half, so that we can make eight two a two cards. But we're not making two a two cards today. Today, I'm just gonna make one. Let me grab my scoreboard real quick. My I'll grab my mini right now. Don't feel like breaking out the big one. And then we're just going to score at four and a quarter. For those of your experience, this is not, not rocket science for a newbie. This is a standard A2 card. A2 card is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, I was taught, and this is how I was doing it. I always do it when I fold on the score. I fold into the mountain. That's how I was taught. Whether I don't know if there's a difference one way or another, but that's how I was taught, and that's just how I do it. Your mileage may vary. Okay, so now I've got my A2 card. Now I just need to grab my pattern paper, and I'm going to go ahead and use the same paper as was used in the sample because why make myself cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Second guessing, you know, and, and, and yeah, no. We are just now, but we're going to go back where I put my paper trimmer. I hid it from myself in plain sight. So we're going to cut this paper, piece of paper down a little bit smaller than what we cut, than what our card base right here is, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm just going to give it, so four and a quarter, I'm going to go four inches across. Now, which way do I want to, um, mm, 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 mm. I'm going to go five and a quarter. I'm going to do it long ways, I think. Unless, I'm, and look at this. If you notice this paper, look. We've got some, you know, it, it fades out here. But I would like, I'm thinking I'm going to use this upper corner, which has the most brightest color. So in this case, okay, so I am going. So it's four and a quarter. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to give it one eighth. I'm just going to make a little smidge and fall. So okay. So we're going to go four by five and a quarter. That is my final decision. I'm not overthinking this. I'm not allowing myself to overthink it. Trust me, I will. Because again, we're using the cheat of just, you know, kind of using the, the example they gave us as a guide, not a girdle. I'm just so, here we go. It's just a little bit smaller. You know, a little bit of an eighth of an inch around. So let's just, you know what? Let's just, as we go, let's just glue this down. Sometimes I would cut, you know, it depends on my mood today. I, I'm just like I want to. I want to put this together. So normally I cut everything and then I assemble. Today I'm suffering from terminal impatience, and I just want to get this done. So now we're going to glue. We're just going to adhere. Oh, well, it is glue. I mean, tape is glue, isn't it? It's sticking. We're sticking it down. There we go. So that's one level. We got that done, and then they used. A piece of white paper here, I'll show you real quick. So I have it handy right here. Um, they use a white paper just to make the pop this off. So I'm going to go ahead and follow their lead, but I decided I wanted to add a little bit of texture to it. So I've grabbed some of my here out of my stash of uh, whoops of tonic paper because it is, if you can see here, it's got a bit of a, a linen feel to it. A little texture so I wanted to add a little texture to this so I'm going to go ahead now and cut that down even smaller but I want to give myself a, more, a bit of a more margin so this is already four I'm and I grabbed two pieces of paper I didn't even realize it silly goose so if I cut this um, this was five and a quarter I'm gonna go down to four and seven eighths because that'll give me a three eighths it, it there's just it bugs me to do that because i'm going to cover so much of that paper but you know what we're not going to overthink it so four and seven eight or five no four and seven eighths and then four so it would be if we take a quarter off i'm going to go then three and five eighths on the width so let's see let's see how we like that I am just committing right here in front of you. No fear of commitment. And I like that. I do indeed. I don't want to make it too small. 
this is just right. Like I said, normally I wouldn't do this. There's a, there's a part of me that thinks I should have die cut something out of the middle of it so I could use. And, and you know, there's still a chance. Do I have an oval hanging around here? Something because it's like there's that's awful pretty piece of paper. So hang on a second because I could pull it right up. I did not normally tape the center and I didn't. So hang on a second. Alrighty, kids. I found some oval dies and I also have both the the die and I'm gonna cut the little dots into it. So let this be a lesson, just so you know, of never being afraid of changing direction on the fly. And this is something that came to me. I mean, I don't recommend that you make a habit of it. You know, planning ahead is always a good thing. But, you know, by the same token, it's like, wait a minute. I I, I, I have an opportunity. I hate wasting paper. I notoriously do exactly what I forgot to do, which is when I'm going to use a piece like this, a background, where it's going to get covered by another piece of paper. All of this goes to waste, and it's awful pretty paper for it to go to waste. So let me really quickly... What I'm going to do is just roll the tape off. It's okay. I have a ton of this. So uh, now, because one of the things is recently in my downtime of not having been crafting all this time is I have done uh, some reorganizing, not as good as I want, but I'm in a good place except for the box next to the right of me of things that I have bought since you guys have seen me that I'm not using. And it's, it's really bothered me. It's kind of horrifying. I'm like, geez, Myra, really? But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this in the middle because remember, this piece of paper is going to cover it. So that nobody's even going to know. So I'm just going to go in here and put my dies. I'm more like, actually, I don't even have to worry about the big oval. I'm just trying to center it with the smaller over in the center. Um, where is, oh, there it is. I put my hand, I'm like, where's the washi tape? And I had my hand right on it. <sighs> so I'm gonna grab and just put down a piece of washi tape. Let me grab. Now, you remember in one of my videos, I was talking about how a folder lasts forever. Yes, we were not gonna, <laughs> that is proof positive that I reuse and love these folders. I'm actually going to use this one better. Um, till they die. Until they break apart. And I really don't have to because trust me, I have plenty. But it just bugs me. So it's still pretty, it's still good enough. Of course, if it ruins the paper, I might be singing another tune. But I don't think it will. So I'm just going to run it through my handy dandy trusty marquee that I love in the door because it's like, there you go. I can just whip it out and do a quick cut. Let me put that back down in the cubby where it sits, Liz. And there we go. I did. Ah, you know, this is the downside of doing exactly what I did. But that's okay because we, this is something that's fixable. There we go. See? The lucky, the good part of this is that it's pattern paper. I'm just taking my, this is um, a silicone, not silicone, Teflon. A Teflon bone folder. This is from Tonic. And I'm just rubbing it over. And you cannot tell. I mean, they're going to have to really have to zero in. And remember, we are doing this. So I am not. So like I said, don't make a habit of this. And definitely, I probably really should have used the other bone folder. But I mean, not a bone, the other folder. But now I have this lovely oval that I can put together with the ephemera and use in another card. So now I just have to do the same thing right here. There's a little spot that also got a little goofled. Very technical term. There you go. I'm just going to set that aside. I'm going to take these, and these are just Fun Stepper Journey all ovals. I don't even know if they carry these anymore. I've had these for a long time, but they are my best friends because her stuff lives at my house, and she crafts here. So it's kind of like we're a married couple. It's community property. <laughs> we talk about it in those terms, literally, too. <laughs> but now... Oh, look, and I didn't see a crease up here. So we're going to, excuse me, take out that crease as well. 
I don't know, I feel, I don't know if you guys hear it, my voice is kind of wanting to do funny things. I don't know what's going on there. Weird. But now we're going to one more time roll through with Big Mama. And we're going now to put this paper down. And now I feel better that I'm using that piece because now it did not go to waste. And still, now maybe it's just a shadow. Okay, let's not stick it to the desk. But anyway, let it go. Let it go, Meyer. I try it this way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, see, the first time I got it right down, you know, like almost one and done. And this time now I struggle. Oh, of course. There we go. There we go. That looks pretty good. When we got that down. We move Big Mama out of the way. Move these things out of the way. We don't need you. We don't need you. Go away. We don't need you either. You're not unloved. We just don't need you right now. And then now we're ready to put this down. And there's a part of me that wants to rough it up. But no, I'm gonna leave. I'm just. I'm gonna let it go. I'm just gonna leave it. Kinda. I'm for this. I feel the need to kind of keep it clean, if that makes any sense. Because there's part of me that was thinking about taking a distress, my Tim Holtz distressor, and roughing up the edges. But no. I actually do feel the need to keep it clean. Okay. And now we're just going to put this done. Center that above. Now we have three layers. We have our card base and two layers of, of paper. And now we're ready to add the final touches, which is this piece. And then we have our Hello Gorgeous. Is it this piece or is it the smaller one? No, I think it's this piece. Kind of like this. So, but before we do that, we need to cut our sentiment apart too. I did a little test and I was going to use my little guillotine cutter. But I really didn't feel confident. And, and if you don't feel confident, you know, that's part of it. Although you can overthink things. But I felt that I could do a better job with my cutter pillar just because I could see the edge better. And that was really what it was about. Because I'm just going to eyeball this. Literally eyeball the center because this is the one I want. Thank you for being you. I'm going to use the same one that they use in the sample. Why reinvent the wheel? But you don't have to. You can use any one of here. Because um, look at that. The day, the next one, the days with you are the best days. I will always... Uh, there's some really good sentiments here. But now I'm just going to go and eyeball the bottom. And that looks pretty easy. Ah! And there I go. So now all I have to do... Actually, and when I can do this, I can just go ahead and... Use this and go there. More or less, it looks about right. And now we have that. And I could set aside my paper trimmer. And now here's where I have the chance to maybe deviate. A little because I can tell that this is all flat on the card. But I'm not sure I want it flat on the card. I think I'm going to leave the flowers flat on the card. But I think all of these things. Let's see. How am I going to do this? And we could pop up. I think I'm going to pop up hello. No, the lovely thing is that I have basically foam foam tape that's in various for you know depths widths so I have this stuff in the tape but if I go behind me I need to grab I need to bust out a new package believe it or not I can't believe it I've already used up a whole package of these let me grab nope that's the wrong one. Hang on a second for me. 
There it is. Ah. I'll close my bin. Is foam mounting tape. I buy this at the 99 cent store, and I have said this repeatedly. If you're paying more than 99 cents for your mounting tape, you're paying too much. Spend your money on cool stuff like this. On this stuff, you can get it for a little cheap. Excuse me, cheaper. Do it. I will buy. Usually, I'll go in and I'll buy like five of these rolls at a crack, and just hang on to them. And they, I, I get a lot, a lot of mileage out of these. But this one is a little bit used. But if I want to do both, I can because you can tell. See, you can tell how one is deeper than the other. Okay. Oof. I had to just re reseat myself. And wow, they wrap the tape all the way around. Usually there's a little empty spot. Then I could just pull one out. Not so much this time. So here, I'm just going to... I'm only going to take a couple of pieces off now, so I'll just set that tape aside. My goodness. I can't throw it away. It wants to stick with... It's, it's sticking to me. I'm going to grab a couple of these rectangles. Now... Actually, no, I want to make it, I'm going to put it on the hello. I'm going to put it on the upper part of the hello. And then for gorgeous, I'm just going to cut off a little, little pieces of this. And well, hopefully this is not going to backfire on me because I am totally winging it. And you guys know that, you know, when I wing it, it can go, you know, all hoo how ways. But that's okay. That's that's part of the creative process and part of what makes this. this we're doing this and we're, we're supposed to be having fun. And fortunately, I have like a little sample to look at. I mean, you guys can wing it on your own, just out of your imagination. Go on Pinterest, go anywhere and find something else. Like, ooh, and just and apply it to the supplies that you have on hand. But now let me start by putting my flower where I'd like it. And I think it's kind of staying straightened up. I think from the sample, it looks like it's trying to straighten up. I'm thinking if I want to make it, you guys know my, I always like cattywampus. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lean it a little bit more over than it's done in the sample. Why? Because I can. And I'm just going to roll some tape out on here. A little piece down there just in case and again not overthink this just get this down I just want to make sure I have enough space I really I I'm all honesty I really want to bring up the flowers but I'm gonna this time for once really let the center the sentiment speak for the card We have Hello Gorgeous. And I think I'm going to lay this flat right here, right down here. It's mounted a little on top of it, but I don't think so. It's not how I'm going to do it. And this is my card, so I get to do it how I want. So let's see. This is a little thicker vellum. And I'm going to roll my tape right over. I'm taking a second. And I'm rolling it right behind the words. So it should do a pretty good job of camouflaging it. Except i got to figure out where that cat... I just saw it. There it is. I have picked up... I'm not... Shocking as this may sound, I have picked up a cat here. There he is. I could see it against the white. Because the goofballs are always up here. Squeaky... It was a little while ago, I was having a, a little tiny bit of ice cream. I had my little keto ice cream fit, fit, fix. And she, like, has radar for when I have ice cream. And she goes, Mom, I, I'm, she came here for her little, you know, lick of the ice cream. So I always set a little bit down so that she would share. I share my ice cream with the cats because there you go. But she's my little old lady now. I love her. I've had her. She was born. I had her mother. And she was born. I've, I've held her from, you know, I mean, she was minutes old. 
and she's she's this month September she turns 15 I'm like oh my goodness where's my little kitten and we'll just put the gorgeous down next and give it a little space above it I'm just doing a little because I'm deviating I'm not doing an identical to the sample because samples are guides they're not girdles and then I'm not taking the tape on this and I put it up closer so that, that way it would, you know, I wouldn't um, bump up against this sentiment. So I'm going to put it like right here. And, well, just I think it just decided to be right there. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. I, I didn't lay it out. Right. I'm wanting to center it a little. I mean, not center, center. But bringing it in, yes, I like that better, I think. I'm overthinking it again. <laughs> but there we go. I'm committing. But uh, there you go. Tell me that wasn't quick. And I could probably whip out another one with some other sentiment. And that's the point of this kit, is to just make a cute card really quickly. I could send this out to somebody, and it's a handmade card. People don't know that you just slam this together in nothing flat. Um, they just are touched by the fact that you took the time. The one thing that is missing, and this is something you should always do, and I didn't think about it, so I'm going to do that right now, is an artist always signs their car, their art, their project. Whatever their piece is, you sign it. So let me just grab really quick. I'm going to grab a block. I have right here my stamps that I use. I stamp on the back of cards. I have that K. Literally, there's a reason for that sticker K because these are FSJ stamp blocks, and I want to get some more, and that way I know I can look at them at a glance and know which ones I have and which ones I don't have. Every time Spellbinders has a sale and I see them on sale, I pick up another one or two until eventually I have all of them. Whether I, I really don't use stamp blocks as often as I used to. I normally, 90%, you guys see me make cards, I whip out my Misty. But sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith. Here's my VersaFine right here. I'm going to use a stamp block. And I'm only willing to do it because I just finished making another card and I did the same thing. And it was dimensional and I just couldn't make it work with the Misty. So... I used my stamp block and I realized that all along I've been overthinking this. So let's just go in here. Excuse me if you see my fat head. I apologize for that. I'll just press that down. Commit. I inked it well, so it shouldn't be a problem. Right? There we go. Handmade because you're worth it. And then I have, I should have handy here. The pen I like to use to sign my cards, and I don't see it handy here. I'll use this one, because this one is also like rolling ink. Let me see, where do I have? The roller ball, isn't it? Yes, I like to use gel ink. So I will just go ahead. I'm going to sign my card like I usually do. Or this is my squiggle. And then the year, which is 2021. And there. You got it? But there you go. One and done, just about. I noticed I'm a, I'm a little off center. I may lift that up and, cha and, and, and straighten it out. I just noticed that right now. But other than that, here you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, you enjoyed the quick process. I mean, like I said, I know I cheated using the sample, but I, there's this, this is so, so easy. I changed it up a little, little tiny bit again, and I deviated by grabbing this piece out so that I can use it in another project. But hopefully you got something out of this. I hope you enjoyed it, had fun hanging out with me. I sure as heck had fun making this card. So thanks a lot. And if you did, by all means, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a, you know, give me a like and drop me a note if you like. And if you want to see me come back and make more of this stuff, you want to hang out with me, by all means, then just hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. You know when I'll be on. And let's just carry this on. Let's keep the momentum and the mojo going. Uh, so go out there, make something beautiful, be creative, 
And remember, we're all a little mad here, okay? So scrap the madness, okay? Bye.